Mazi Suzuki has always dominated the subcompact SUV space with the Vitara Brezza and now with the 2022 Brezza. The only missing jigsaw in their puzzle was compact SUV space and now they have filled it with this, the new Grand Vitara. And before you ask us if this is the global version of the Grand Vitara, no this is not. This is the version that is specific to India and a couple of other markets. And there's lots of talk about this car but before we do that don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we go live with a new automotive content. Now let's talk with the design of the car. It looks extremely appealing. It is very premium. The chrome elements that you get uh, that is surrounding the center grille looks extremely posh. It looks premium. The car has its own unique appeal that will probably shine out when it goes on the road as well. You get these uh, skid plates as well at the front that gives it a very butch look. The fog lamps get a uh, housing as well and is surrounded by a black treatment that gives a very good look. It gives a very neat look to the car as well. The headlamps are also stacked quite neatly and cleanly. It gets LED treatment but do note that this is only restricted to the top variants of the car and not exactly available for the lower variants. Now moving to the side if you can see. The profile of the Grand Vitara looks large in proportions but not as large as the Euro spec Grand Vitara that is positioned as a mid-size SUV while in India this footprint is that of a compact SUV. In fact, it does better in size compared to a few players in the space. The alloy wheels are different than the ones on the high rider, but it sits on the same 17 inch wheels. The rear section of the car looks quite interesting with the Grand Vitara lettering in a unique font, identical to the Brezza lettering. The chrome strip is LED and it looks really cool especially in the dark when the light brightens up. The LED tail lamps also get a unique design with nicely done detailing that gives the car a very dynamic character. Lower down, most elements are similar to the Urban Cruiser Highrider with black claddings and four skid plates all adding to its SUV credentials. Now we told you everything about the design of the car. There's also a lot of tech, a lot of features on the inside and we have Sahil with us to take you through everything that Maudi Suzuki Grand Vitara comes with. Now we are on the inside of the Grand Vitara. We are in the mild hybrid version and you get this 9 inch Suzuki Smart Play Pro Plus Studio infotainment system. We have seen this before on the Baleno, the Brezza and even the High Rider by Toyota gets it. You get a ton of features out here. Most importantly, you get this surround view camera which is supremely handy for parking the car and we have already experienced this on the Baleno. Outside of that, you get this really simplistic widget-like experience. It's a very simple interface. It even gets wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The top of the line variant even gets a wireless phone charger which is here. And you even get a head-up display which again is on the strong hybrid variant which also gets a dedicated EV mode. As far as the interiors are concerned, they look pretty nice. The build quality has gone a little up for Maruti Suzuki out here. You get these toggle switches for the climate control system. You get this brownish finish out here which is also on the high rider but if you look at the strong hybrid version of this car then you get a much more understated look which to me looks slightly better. In terms of lumbar support on these seats, it feels quite comfortable. The top of the line variant even gets ventilated seats. So that's really, really cool. And you get this huge panoramic sunroof, which is easily the biggest one we have seen on a Maruti Suzuki. So I'm five, nine and a half in height. As you can see, there's plenty of leg room and the this seat is positioned according to my driving position. So, a lot of space out here. You get a armrest out here with two cup holders. And you get these AC vents. You get two USB ports out here. One is a Type A, which is the old school USB port and a Type C. You also get a Type A port on the front. Overall, a lot of things are happening out here. It's a pretty comfortable car. You also get Isofix mounts out here and it also gets six airbags on the top end model. Now speaking of powertrain, the Maudi Suzuki Grand Vitara comes with two engine options. There's a 1.5 litre 
petrol engine that is coupled to a mild hybrid that we've already seen with other multi cars as well apart from this there's also a strong hybrid system that is courtesy toyota which also we've seen on the urban cruiser high rider now there are two gearbox options as well but the fact that is that the car gets the all grip system basically the all wheel drive system and this is the first time that this car gets it as well as is the first time that maruti is introducing this with a car in india Safety is paramount for Maruti Suzuki and the Grand Vitara features a comprehensive list of active and passive safety features as well as more than 40 Suzuki Connect features. With the Nexa Safety Shield, the Grand Vitara comes with 6 airbags and tire pressure monitoring system, but all these features are limited to the higher trims. The Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara is the newest kid on the block and a possible threat to the dominance of the Hyundai Creta and Kia Seltos in the compact SUV segment, which also pits it against the Skoda Kusha, Volkswagen Tiguan, MG Aster, as well as its sibling, the Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider. Price-wise, we expect Maruti Suzuki to launch the Grand Vitara anywhere between 11 lakh rupees to 19 lakh rupees for the higher spec versions. but the combination of a strong hybrid or even the all wheel drive system could easily put the car well over the 20 lakh rupee mark making it slightly expensive when it goes on road however we will know everything for certain once maruti launches the grand vitara in the second half of september